Hi, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to um, show you my new uh, mist coolant system and how I mounted it up and um, tried it out on my lathe. Um, it could also be used on the milling machine. Um, I got it from eBay. Um, I've got this one, the um, one with two uh, needle valves, uh, one for the air and one for the coolant. There are lots of other ones. Um, most of the other ones seem to only have the one needle valve for the air. Maybe it's unnecessary to have the coolant one, but I thought there's not a lot of difference in price. Um, I might as well get the two uh, two needle valve version. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's put it together. Um, so I've got a aluminium plate. Um, I've already uh, marked it up. That's how wide it's going to be, and I've got a couple of drill holes. Um, I'm just going to machine that up, um, drill holes, mount it, um, and try it out. We'll just cut that down to size on the bandsaw. Screw there, which just protrudes out the bottom just enough. So, if I drill and tap that, it will be clear. And if it's not quite, I can always put a washer. This looks pretty spot on. I'll have to get another one. Um, of course, they're not always exactly the same length. So, see what that one does. But so drill and tap those. These are M4. Go and do that. I've got the, um, the mag base on the uh, lathe. Um, let's just have a quick look at the connections. Um, 8 mil um, plastic um, push fit tubing, um, and that's the supplied 4 millimeter, I think, um, uh, coolant tube. This goes um, down to my airline here. Um, generally, have the um, regulator set to 20 psi, thereabouts. I've tried 30 doesn't seem to make a lot of difference i mean the 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 needle valves on here tend to regulate the flow um so the actual pressure at the end is going to be um some sort of function of the the pressure coming in and the amount of flow you can get through the uh, the opening um the coolant tube comes with a um Sintered brass filter and a one way valve, which so far seems to work. Um, and I've mixed up some Castrol Cool Edge, which I think I found on eBay, um, three to five percent for milling drilling turning. Um, the, the air comes in, travels up this lock line. 
um, the coolant comes in and then goes into a small tube which also travels up the lock line and up at this end you've got a system where the coolant comes through the middle uh, and the air comes around the outside um, so there's a sort of venturi type effect um, inside the nozzle there which which sort of draws the coolant out um, it's very difficult to do looking through a camera um, so right let's uh, turn it on and um, see what it does for us right I've got a grotty bit of steel bar I'm going to do a test cut on this and see what sort of surface finish we get and then we'll try it with the cutting oil mist and see if it's any better right extra half millimeter dialed in slightly closer on there. That's the sort of surface finish I tend to get unless I'm trying really hard. Um, but that's fairly representative on uh, unknown steel. Right, back in. Okay. Right, that's the way we were, half a millimetre. The result. See from there, it's going a bit closer. Definitely a difference in surface finish. I can feel the difference. This is quite rough. This you can still see lines in it, but it certainly feels smoother. It certainly looks a bit shinier as well. So that is the uh, mist coolant system. Uh, seems to work quite well. Um, and no doubt be trying it out on the milling machine very shortly. Um, hang, um, look out for that. Um, and thanks for watching. See you next time.